Hello, I'm Jeremy and welcome to Destination Timeshare. Today, we're here at Disney's Old Key West in Orlando, Florida, the original Disney Vacation Club. And you know what that means? It's time for a resort tour. Let's check it out right after this. Okay, so here we are right in front of Disney's Old Key West at Hospitality House here. We're gonna make our way through here, take a look at the lobby, and then on the other side. Well, that's where kind of the main pool and recreation area is. So let's head on in here and uh, we're gonna start checking out this pretty big and fantastic resort. Have the area where you'll pull up and you need to drop any bags off, get the assistance of maybe Bell Services. And there's also a bus stop out here. So lots of people lined up here early in the morning to get buses to the parks. So over here we have the general store and then check in on this side. Let's go in and take a look at the gift shop and general store. So taking a look through Conk Flats General Store, you're going to find a wide array of different Disney souvenir items, as well as a number of sundries. And of course, they also have some specialty items just to remember your stay at Disney's Old Key West. So be sure to take a look at Conk Flats General Store to pick up that perfect item to remember your trip to Walt Disney World. Now that we make our way past the entrance to Olivia's, we're going to head across and take a look at the main check-in and lobby. All right, inside the lobby here, this is where you'll come and maybe check in. In fact, to tell you the truth, the only time I was in here in the lobby area was actually to record this video. Disney Vacation Club has a great online check-in, so you can check in ahead of time. They'll send you a text, and then you can essentially use your magic band to get into your room when it's ready. Now let's head back outside. We're gonna check out some more of this beautiful resort. And so coming out of the check-in and lobby area, there's some really nice little seating areas here. Ferries or friendship boats over to Disney Springs is right there. So just gonna make our way back there and uh, we're gonna continue around the resort here. We do have Olivia's, the on-site restaurant here. So if you wanna get a meal, I've heard it's great. We might try it out one day this week. So yeah, here's the DVC ferry. No boats out here yet this morning. Yeah, really nice calm waters here at the moment. Really a nice, quiet, peaceful and tranquil resort property. Plenty of places to sit along back here. Picnic tables because here you have the gurgling suitcase. And here is good food to go. So you can come here, maybe grab some breakfast, grab a snack. Definitely some nice quick service food options here at Disney's Old Key West. And here's Conk Flats Community Hall. So you're gonna find a number of different activities that you can partake in here at Disney's Old Key West, or maybe even rent a Surrey bike or anything else like that while you're at the resort because they have a number of different Surrey bikes and bicycles over here. The main pool area is also right here, but we can't come to that right at the moment because uh, it's closed, so you're gonna have to stick around to the end of this video. I'll make my way back over here after we check out the rest of the property and we'll take a look at the pool area right here. They do have an exercise room, so you need to keep in shape while you're here at Disney's Old Key West. Well, you can come in here and uh, exercise to your heart's content. It's open 24 hours a day. You do have a set of restrooms, you have some ping pong, and I guess this is probably foosball under this tarp here. Yep, there's a foosball table under there. I believe back around here, they actually have some ice and a set of laundry. Yeah, in here you have ice, vending, and laundry. It's kind of hidden and out of the way. Really, really small little room here with uh, your laundry that's available. This one's actually quite a ways away from most of the buildings, so yeah, it might not be all that busy even if the other ones are. Continuing around here, well, this is where you're gonna find a shuffleboard court. I think there might actually be a couple of tennis courts here, so let's go take a quick look at those. Yeah, so a couple of tennis courts here, and they're also painted for pickleball. So for all you pickleball fans, well, you can enjoy that too while you're here at Disney's Old Key West. Continuing back this way, we're gonna find kind of a really neat playground area here. Yeah, so here's a playground. It's actually part of the pool area, so it doesn't open until 10 a.m. either. They have some slides, things for kids to climb on and enjoy. And making our way even further around here, we haven't even seen hardly any of the property yet, but there's so much to see and do here at Disney's Old Key West that you certainly will not be bored. It looks like they have kind of a little kind of amphitheater area here, a little stage and places to 
sit here. Maybe they do demonstrations, activities, stuff like that. They do have a few hammocks over here as well. So feel free to come over here and enjoy those. You can just lay in those and swing in them and maybe even fall asleep, take a nap. Great feature here at this property. So continuing on even further while we're gonna come across sand or beach volleyball here. And now just down this path a little bit further while we're gonna come on a fire pit. So it looks like they maybe have an evening campfire here, a few places to sit, and then some nice views here too. A little lake that they have right beside here it says no swimming or wading and uh, be careful of alligators and snakes here always a danger in central florida okay so now that we've seen hospitality house the general store where olivia's is number of activities over here we'll be back a little bit later to check out the pool but yeah just continuing on here they do have some giant checkers and then also cornhole over here but now it's time to uh, head across the street we're gonna make our way up through the resort. Now, before we continue too much further with this resort tour of Disney's Old Key West, I wanna ask, are you planning a trip here or perhaps at one of the other beautiful Disney Vacation Club resorts? If so, you're gonna to wanna to visit DVC Shop, where you can check out their confirmed DVC reservations at incredible savings over Booking Direct. And after you've stayed at one of the amazing DVC properties, you're gonna to wanna to make a purchase. Then look no further than buying resale through DVC Shop. And also, if you happen to be a DVC owner, you can rent or even sell your DVC points through DVC Shop. To check availability or learn more, check out the link in the description and pinned comment down below. Or scan the QR code here on the screen and start enjoying great deals on your next Disney Vacation Club stay. I want to thank DVC Shop for sponsoring this video at Disney's Old Key West Resort. Now let's continue on with the resort tour. All right, so we're continuing back through the resort here. Walking along the main roadway, I guess you could call it. It goes back into Disney's Old Key West. You can see the bus transportation running, getting everybody where they want to go. And then just over here, well, we have a nice lake with views out to Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. And then all of the buildings that kind of make up Disney's Old Key West. So a really nice quiet morning here at this property. Okay, now we're starting to see some of the buildings here. Some of the signage shows you how to get to each of the buildings. Pay attention to those because we actually missed a sign, missed a turn kind of on our way back from getting food at a restaurant last night. And uh, we ended up in a completely different area of the resort. Resort. We had to kind of backtrack and find our building. The directions, those signs, really, really great for finding where you need to go. And we're coming up on the next bus stop here. You can see a bus has just pulled up. I don't know if there's anybody at this bus stop here yet, but we do have some nice bus stops here. Some fans to kind of keep the air moving. They have a TV up there so you can kind of see where your bus is and maybe how long it's going to take for the next bus to arrive. This bus here is going to Disney's Animal Kingdom. So there's one of the bus stops. Let's continue on. More to see. All right, I'm just kind of making my way through one of the parking areas here in front of one of these buildings. In fact, this is building 28. Just gonna show you what the buildings are kind of like here at Disney's Old Key West. Most of them two to three stories. Keep in mind also, most of the buildings do not have elevators. So if you have mobility issues, well, you're gonna to wanna to ask for a ground floor or you're gonna to wanna to ask for one of those buildings that does have elevators. I understand there's only a few of them, so keep that in mind here. But parking is actually pretty good here with plenty of parking out in front of these buildings. Really great areas here around the resort. The buildings have a really nice color palette to them. One of those pastels kind of just makes you feel like you're in Key West, Florida. We're continuing on here through the resort. Really lots of nice shaded pathways. Some are in the sun. This one here, nice and shady. And you're going to find this throughout the resort. Being Disney Vacation Club's original Vacation Club resort, well, this resort has really grown and matured with some beautiful landscaping. Really do love that about the property. Here you can see another kind of view over to the golf course. There's some people out there doing some golfing here this morning. All right, so we're kind of near the far back reaches of the resort here, near building 55, and it looks like they actually have something called Conk Flats Trail. Please remain on the trail. Do not enter the golf course areas, but it looks like it's for hiking, bicycling, and walking. But they do have a sign over here that says, don't take your Surrey bikes back here. So looks like a nice place to maybe come and take a morning stroll, or if you're brazen enough, 
maybe one in the afternoon heat here in central Florida in the summer. Yeah, there's building 55. Now there's a pool area over here, so we're gonna take a walk in there and take a look around. Yeah, so here we are, just a small little pool area. Nice and quiet out here early in the morning. In fact, nobody is here yet. But plenty of seating areas. Nice steps down into the pool area here. Kind of a little bit on the small side. Yeah, nice little pool here. Let's take a walk over here because I think they might have a hot tub here as well. Yeah, so a little hot tub area here. It looks like they have a boat kind of moving along the waterway over here as well. So yeah, some buildings with nice views out to the water. Here is that hot tub, so you can come and enjoy that. And then the pool area here from just a little bit of a different angle. They do have towels up there, they have restrooms, and they also have vending. And then over here, well, we're gonna find a small playground here. So bring your kids, they'll have a lot of fun here at this playground. So let's just take a quick walk in here. I pointed this out earlier as vending, but I think they also have laundry. So yeah, there's laundry here for those that are in a room, mainly a studio unit that does not have in-room laundry. Then you have some vending over here for laundry supplies, so detergent, fabric softener, that kind of thing. Soda here, and then an ice maker as well. So now that we've seen that, there's more to see at this beautiful resort, so let's carry on. Okay, so over here near building 49, it says here, there's a trail to the village pool and turtle shack. So we're gonna make our way through here. It looks like a really nice area. Nice and shaded kind of along the road here. So we'll continue down through here. Bit of a buffer with those trees, making our way towards turtle shack, I guess. Okay, so I suspect that trail actually cut off a lot of walking throughout the resort to get here. So we're gonna make our way in here. It looks like there's a pool to take a look at. See a nice little pool area here. Again, plenty of seating, umbrellas, picnic tables. Looks like they even have some grills here so not gas grills but kind of just charcoal grills that i don't know does anybody even use anymore but yeah nice pool area here some people out swimming nice bright and early here in the morning and turtle shack is just over there we'll go over there and take a look at that as we make our way around here i do want to point out they do have a hot tub here so nice spa here to take advantage of and again a really nice pool area here in this part of the resort and it looks like all the pool areas also have playgrounds another playground here at this one so yeah lots of seating here kind of under the trellised area they do have shuffleboard over here as well and it looks like they also have cornhole so if you want to play some cornhole or shuffleboard well you can do that here at this pool again some more ice vending and laundry in there some children's life jackets and then here is turtle shack it doesn't look like it's open at the moment i'm not sure how often it's really open but they do have a beverage refill station inside here and in addition to the beverage refill station i think they might even have an arcade or a game room in here nope oh yeah they do <laughs> There's mentioned on the map called Game Room. Well, it's because they have a few board games down there, I guess. But you have one of those refillable cups. You can fill it here. Or I guess if you purchase a drink out at the Turtle Shack, well, you can get it filled there as well. So that's really what's in here. Let's head back around, take a bit more of a look at the pool. And then here at Turtle Shack, well, you can get some entrees, munchies, alcohol, and beverages as well. Looks like Turtle Shack operates from 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. You do have pool towels available here. And just one more look at the pool area here in this section of the resort. Now that we've seen that pool, well, there's still more to see. So we've made our way back towards the front of the resort here, towards Hospitality House and the main feature pool here. But hey, it's still not open yet. But I did stop back at the room a little bit earlier, kind of make sure I wasn't missing anything. And I realized, well, there's one more pool area to take a look at. And it's a little ways down through here. So we're going to make our way over there next. All right, so we're making our way over towards that second to last pool, I guess you'd call it. It's coming up here on the Miller's Road bus stop. So have buses here, just like all the other bus stops, picking people up, taking them all over Walt Disney World Resort property. But I believe that pool that we're looking for is just up around the corner here. So let's make our way there now. All right, here's the next pool area. I believe this one's called the Miller's Road Pool. So let's head in here and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good sized pool in here. Some nice steps to get down in. Over here, they do have the ice vending and laundry, as well as restrooms and pool towels. But yeah, this is a pretty good pool area. They do have plenty of seating, lots of lounge chairs, lots of tables, lots of places to come sit out in the sun and relax. But yeah, pretty good sized pool. Goes from three feet all the way up to five feet in depth. Well, they can't go wrong with this pool. Looks like a nice place to come and hang out for the day or just maybe a few minutes and take a swim. 
Now over here they do have a hot tub that says partner pixie dust because it looks like it's closed due to some unscheduled maintenance. So let's continue around this way. Like I say, there's plenty of lounge chairs. Down this little pathway here, it looks like they have a small little picnic area with some charcoal grills. Yeah, so a picnic table, some charcoal grills. If you're inclined enough to get some charcoal and cook something up on them, I really wish they would install gas grills at most of the properties. I've only seen that at like one or two properties. If you want to check out all of the Disney Vacation Club resort tours I have on the channel, well, there will be a link up there in the upper right, or check out the description below. Here's the pool one more time. Now that we've seen that, I know there's one more pool I've been promising for a while. That's the feature pool, so I believe it's maybe getting close to being open, so we'll go ahead and head over there and check it out. Okay, it looks like the main pool is now open. Let's head inside here and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, main feature pool. I think they also sometimes refer to it as the sand castle pool, and we'll show you why here in just a moment. Yeah, really nice pool here. The feature pool at Disney's Old Key West. They do have plenty of seating, umbrellas. There's also, I believe, a hot tub and spa back here. So you can take advantage of that, just kind of chill out in the spa. And also over here, they do have a sauna, which is in their, uh, their lighthouse here. So really cool feature here at this pool is this lighthouse. And uh, well, yeah, there's a sauna in the bottom of it. So yeah, just continuing around the pool here. Like I said, they do have that cool sandcastle feature. It does have a water slide coming out. So really great pool here. I'm sure the kids will love the water slide. The adults will love chilling out in the pool. More seating, lots of tables, lots of chairs. It's really early here in the morning. Just opened a few moments ago. That's why there's not too many people here yet today. Yeah, pool looks like it goes from three feet up to six foot in depth. There are lifeguards on duty as well. And then kind of have a little boardwalk area here that overlooks kind of a little water feature here that uh, obviously just for decoration. Some dolphins here enjoying the water in Key West. And then out here, just a small lake. And then continuing around here, oh, they're blowing the whistles. I think the pool is now open, so all the kids and adults can run and jump in and then start enjoying the pool. And we're gonna walk around here really quick. Kind of some additional things. We actually saw some of this a little bit earlier when we saw the tennis courts, volleyball, and the campfire. But yeah, there's a playground here, so like I said, we saw that already. We also have this kind of additional sand castle area. Big, huge bucket full of sand here. And then just kind of some additional kind of theming and decoration here with a small kids pool right here. Yeah, so just a view from the other side here really quick. There's that water slide in sand castle. So I'd like to ask if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help with these videos. And if you want to see another video from here at Disney's Old Key West, well, it's going to be a two bedroom villa tour. Check it out here. Coming up next, thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.